Good afternoon, which reminds me I have to have my lunch. Oh, I'm a little out of breath. I just, uh, I've been working out with my new hula hoop and uh, it's quite the workout and I'm really enjoying it, but uh, it's still, well, I suppose it will always uh, be a workout for me and uh, make me out of breath. Well, eventually it won't, I guess. But still, it should be a workout. It's uh, the only hula hoop I could find. Okay, so I've been asking my, my family to get me a hula hoop for a couple of Christmases now, and they haven't done it. <laughs> so um, I went online and I found that sport check does have one hula hoop and uh, being as I got a gift card from the mall from my students and I've been randomly spending that gift card on various things. I suppose that's the uh, refrigerator. Anyway, um, so I thought, oh, well, it will be too expensive, you know, because I've already bought things on my gift card. But I looked it up, and SportCheck had one for just over $20. I thought, okay, how good can that be? Hi, Julia. Come on in. Just push the door. Atta girl. Yeah, push a little more. Yeah, she did. And um, so I went there, and... And they said, uh, we don't have those. And I said, here, on my phone, I showed them. Here it says on your website that this store location has it in stock. And everyone went, right. Okay. And so the, the guy who is, seems to be in charge went to the back and had a look. And there it was in a box. I brought it out. I looked at it and went, okay, fine. I bought it. It was just over $20. And, and they said, oh boy, this is heavier than I thought. And I thought, yeah, this is heavier than I thought too. But it is a weighted hula hoop. And uh, in, in a sense, it's easier and harder to start with. It is for exercising, which I guess is what I want. Although I think, I mean, it's just like when, with my swimming. I'm waiting to see how it goes. And if I get enough into it, then I will invest further. So as my swimming has continued, I've, you know, purchased new goggles, purchased a new bathing suit, and purchased new, well, got as a gift, uh, new swim flippers for walking around the pool. So I will uh, hang on and wait with my less expensive hula hoop now and see how it goes and if I really enjoy it then I will go to a genuine hula hoop that is not weighted because this is one heavy sucker look at this baby now, it's the right size for me it's huge okay it's huge and heavy Ugh. but um, it's easier to keep up I guess Plus, uh, it's uh, padded. I don't know. I don't know what difference that makes. Anyway, I look forward to a time where I'm good enough at this that I don't need a weighted padded hula hoop. <laughs> but for now, this is good. But it really makes a thump when it falls. Although I've got it to a point where it's not always falling, and I can keep it up for a while. But... Um, I like it. It will do, and it's certainly you end up puffing, so I'm looking forward to getting good at it. And right now, you know, I'm just taking it easy because I don't want to hurt myself. I always hurt myself. Last night, I uh, we were watching <clears throat> the juniors game and then we just watched uh, 
something to finish off the night and then I watched the news and I was nibbling on some candies at the end and then I went oh no because coffee doesn't keep me up sugar keeps me up and I remembered that and I went, oh no what am I going to do now because I could feel the of the sugar coursing through my blood and said so, okay I thought I'll do a workout I'll do a really brief uh, workout so I came in here and I picked up some weights and I started lifting some weights and I did two different exercises one that I do with a one weight and I didn't want to switch weights because it was you know, I wanted to go to bed so I used the same weight the heavier weight to do the other exercise which I usually do with a lighter weight and now my arms are going oh you used a heavier weight oh so I can feel you know that's the kind of stupid stuff I do so I'm being super careful with this, not overdoing it so as not to injure myself and make it hard to continue. I did the same thing with the swimming. I went really easy into it so that I wouldn't hurt myself. And I am you know, much further along in my swimming because of it. So I'm not going to hurt myself by doing too much with the hula hoop right now. But I've made progress and I can tell that it'll be good. So, um, my crossword is slowly coming to a finish. My husband helped a lot last night, and I've been doing a lot today, so I should be done shortly. It's, it's now to the point where I'm looking to see if there, you know, where is there another blank space that I need to find. So, yeah, that'll be that. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to a friend of ours, her daughter... It's her birthday, and she graduated from the, no, uh, ma she's getting a bachelor's in social work. So she graduated. So uh, this is a big party to celebrate all that. So it's at a, at a coffee shop, uh, mm, Monograms downtown. So we've never been there. So we'll go there. It's a sort of a, an open house thing, two to five. So we'll do that this afternoon. But first, it's lunchtime. So I'll have lunch now, and then I'll get back to it. We had a great time yesterday at the brunch at my daughter's place. That was kind of nice. Mmm, boy, do I ever feel good after this, and it's... It's not something unpleasant, you know? Jogging was always unpleasant. Swimming can be unpleasant when you have to convince yourself to go swimming. You know, you have to go at night or go get into the, you know, cooler water and stuff. That, you know, it's always less than pleasant. And But this is something that you can do right where you are. And um, it just involves moving your body a little bit and then... As they say, you get into a, a mode, into a, a very calm, rhythmic uh, state. And that's kind of neat. Anyway, lunchtime. Ta for now.